Well, it is cooler here in the valley, like yeah. closer to Portland. But gosh, yeah, those firefighters east, you know, yeah. east side of the state. Still dealing with heat. as you'll see. Yeah, there's still triple digit heat over the eastern counties mm -hmm. of Oregon, but they'll be cooling off uh, as well as we go yeah, to the next yeah. couple of days. And we certainly had a great cool down. Did you get those thunderstorms yesterday morning? Totally. By the way? Yes. That was wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was really. I mean, there were power outages in Portland. That wasn't great, but it was fun to hear some thunder and uh, and that came with a cool down too. Let's take you back out to our camera in the Dallas, looking to the west northwest. And yes, that is smoke. It is ground based and that's all coming from that new wildfire we just told you about in the Mosier area. As Christine mentioned, already level three evacuations. We can't see the fire itself, but you can see the edge of the smoke here, right? So no smoke here. Then suddenly you get into it and it's all thick as it moves on up to the east and the northeast. And that's some pretty thick smoke out there. And look at these winds in the Dallas. It's gusting to 45 miles an hour right now, sustained at nearly 30 miles an hour. So, yeah, that's problematic when it comes to wildfire. These winds will settle down overnight, but there will be several more hours this evening of very, very windy weather out that way. And for that reason, a wind advisory from the uh, Trout Lake Valley up towards BZ Corners and up towards Trout Lake and then down through the gorge, including Mosier, the Dalles and from just east of Hood River and then up the Klickitat River as well uh, and near Lyle. We've got the Wind advisory continuing until midnight tonight and farther east. There is still a heat advisory for the Columbia Basin up into uh, northeast Oregon here around Joseph and Enterprise and then excessive heat warning in Malheur County. So it's still hot and it's very smoky on the east side because of the numerous wildfires that are burning Our high today. 77. It's been a long time since we've had a day where we have not hit 80 degrees might be the first day this month we haven't hit at least 80 degrees. So really a big, big change. 80s in the rest of Western Oregon, but no 90s even in Medford. But there's the heat. Eastern uh, Oregon getting into the 100 degree temperatures in the Grand. John Day, Baker City, Pendleton at 95. Your heat advisor, as I mentioned, will expire later on tonight. And even Joseph, 96 this afternoon up along the Wallowas. So hot. So look at all the wildfire smoke here. More fires burning in the Cascades here, but this is the marine layer cloud cover that kept us cool today. Took a while for it to burn off, so the longer we have the cloud cover, the less heating we get. So that helped us out greatly today. Here's the smoke forecast. The blue is very light smoke, and it's just really to the east side of us. But look, it gets pushed farther and farther east, and even much of north central Oregon will be smoke free in a couple of days. Down around the fire is going to be tough to get rid of it, but it does thin out quite a bit. So that's the good news. The other the reason for this is low pressure going into British Columbia right now, and it's giving us enough flow aloft. High pressure at the surface offshore, making sure that we have onshore flow. Keep that ocean air flowing into northwest Oregon. Keep us out of the 90s and today out of the 80s, which is great. Here's that upper level pattern. The cool weather staying with us. It modifies a bit as we go late weekend, early next week. But this is a southwesterly flow. It'll warm us up a little bit, but I don't see any extreme heat revisiting the northwest for quite a while. Can't say for the rest of the summer for sure, but for the near term next week to 10 days, I think we're going to be in good shape. 74 right now, freezing level is just over 15,000 feet on the coast tomorrow. Sunny there, maybe some patchy fog. Highs mid 60s to about 70 for the valleys. Sunny north winds will be light in the Cascades. Sunny in 60s and 70s, so nothing too hot there. Central and Eastern Oregon, you have hazy weather because of the wildfire smoke and there are the winds dropping off in the gorge down to 5, 15, 20 miles an hour at best tomorrow. For Portland, sunny and warm highs in the low 80s. We go 83 tomorrow and on Wednesday, a little bit cooler on Thursday with 80, 81 Saturday, then a bit warmer, Christine, on Sunday and Monday, but still no 90s and no red. <laughs> <laughs> that is good news. And honestly, I, I love this weather. The 80s, this is kind of the sweet it's spot, low 80s. It's a, it's a summer weather we've all been waiting for. Exactly. Yeah, it's great. Thank you for that, Matt. I do what I can. <laughs>